Hey guys, welcome to Everyday Guitarist, where we demo everyday gear for everyday guitarists. Today we're talking about the Revolta Combinata. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'd really appreciate it. I love doing these videos, and you hitting the subscribe button, the like button, the bell notification. It really helps me to continue to do these. It, it helps me get gear so I can demo cool stuff for you guys. As always, in Everyday Guitarist, I used sub $1,000 gear. Today, I used my Victory V30 Mark II with a whole bunch of pedals. Uh, I'll kind of go through those as I'm demoing it. The Revolta, obviously, and uh, that's it. It's really, pr really pretty simple. If you want to just skip to the sounds, here's the timestamp right here. Uh, and then you can just listen to it. Otherwise, I'm going to talk about some stuff. Uh, if you guys didn't know, this is uh, Dennis Fano's kind of like lower end brand. They're made in Korea. Uh, also, Novo guitars. Uh, they're kind of part of the whole same thing. This is Revolta. Uh, and then they all come to the United States, get checked over, and you know, sent out to customers. Well, this thing looks absolutely ridiculous. It looks awesome, and I love it. I love offset guitars, as you guys know, I'm sure, and this is no exception. The neck feels super nice. It's a nice, I don't know, I'd call it kind of a medium C, very Gibson-y, actually, just in terms of how it feels to me. The binding's done really, really well. There's not a lot. There's no real finish defects or anything like that. The trim is great. Uh, I will say I've had a little bit of problem with it, but I just don't like trims, really. I don't use them very often, uh, but it really is just a great feeling guitar. Obviously, it's in this awesome blue metallic sparkle finish, which is just ridiculous. I love it so much. I'm not gonna ramble a bunch about specifications. I'll put those on the screen as I'm playing here in just a second. I just wanted to say that I think it's a really great guitar. It feels really good. It's just a really nice, comfortable, good sounding guitar, especially for the money, and it looks awesome. It's got that really cool retro vibe. Without further ado, let's get to some sounds, and uh, we'll start off with the clean. Okay, so I know you're not here for clean sounds, at least I'm not. Uh, so this is my bass sound that I use for pretty much everything and then I add pedals and whatever on top. So let's just hit some chords and hear what that sounds like. <laughs> Thank you. 
I love P90s. I always have, and this one's no exception. I think they sound really, really good. Um, it's a really good feeling guitar too. It's just super comfortable. I'm gonna throw some overdrive on from the uh, Brown Amplification Protein. Uh, this is the green side. <laughs> This is where I think this guitar excels. I think it does good clean sounds, but I don't think it's the greatest clean sounds. But when you add a little bit of drive on it, I think it sounds super gnarly. It's just really aggressive sounding, especially for how it looks. It feels kind of, it feels very warm and homey until you put drive on it and then it's angry and I love it. I think it sounds awesome. Uh, and I'm going to now add a little more gain. So here's the, uh, here's the blue side of the protein. Okay, uh, so it went out of tune because I was railing on the trim and that's my biggest problem with it actually is the trim, I just don't like it. I should have got the one without the trim, but that's just me. I know a lot of people really like this. It's probably a great worship guitar, honestly, uh, but I really like ripping on guitars. That's just how I play and uh, the trim doesn't love it when you really, really go at it. Other than that, it sounds really, really good. It's super aggressive. It's super aggressive and it's just really, really good sounding. It's really comfortable to play on and it's just overall a really uh, enjoyable experience to play. Some guitars just aren't fun to play, uh, especially when you're really, really railing on it. I think this one does a good job with it. I mean, the pickups sound great. Um, let me throw some delay on, uh, get a little more gain and uh, we'll just keep going.
last thing I'm just going to throw in a drop D and we're just going to riff along. And it's going to be a good time. <laughs> fun check it out the revolta combinita is an awesome guitar and i really like it once again guys thanks for watching i really appreciate it i love doing these videos uh hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification hit the like things i don't know just do all the stuff that all the other youtubers tell you to do and check out the revolta combinita i think it's an awesome guitar for the money uh i think it feels great it sounds great and it's fun and it looks cool uh so i'll talk to you later